Hello, who are you and where are you from? I'm uh, Pat Crochet and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. All right, and why are you out here on uh, Santa Monica Pier? We're here with our daughter and her son who live here. And we, my wife and grandson are here with me. And we're on our way to Honolulu to visit Hawaii, visit the Arizona and the Mighty Mo. All right. And then, uh, so, do you have a COVID story to tell? I mean, have you had it? Has anyone in your family had it? Do you know any friends who've had COVID? I don't know of anyone who's, have, who's had COVID. I don't have it. My, nobody in my family has it. And nobody I know has had it. And uh, yet, you, uh, I saw you masking here, and you say you were vaccinated. Yeah, I... I have been vaccinated and I do mask, but it's not mandatory where I'm from. Uh, we spend a lot of time in Mississippi. We have a home there and nobody wears a mask there. And I can go to Home Depot and Lowe's and uh, places like that in New Orleans and nobody wears a mask over there either. Do you think uh, that the government's restrictions and uh, mandates have been a little over the top or about right or where do you think that I, I'm not an anti-masker but I just don't know that I don't know that it's necessary uh, I don't know when it's gonna stop but sometimes I think that yeah maybe it's overdone and uh, what about the vaccinations were you hesitant at all about that I have had the vaccination and I think that's a good idea. I think everyone should have the vaccine. And uh, so have you been distancing from family or friends during this year at all? Uh, I mean, I, have you, I mean, Christmas and holidays and getting oh, together with your, even your yeah, grandkids and travel. When our family gets together, nobody has a mask on. All right. And, uh, we have family that lives close by and we're always all together. And uh, would you say that this year has affected your uh, lifestyle that much directly? No, or? None, none whatsoever. So your like anxiety or happiness level hasn't been changed by no, COVID? No, not at all. Um, have you, uh, do you, what do you see for our future? Is, do you think we're masking and vaccinations are in our future? I think, I think eventually within the next year, uh, it's going to die out. And uh, I guess lastly, did this last year, did anything, if it didn't affect you at all, I, I would say that probably anything good, I was going to ask if anything good has happened in the last year due to COVID, but um, have, do you have any philosophies of looking back, let's say, in, in retrospect about a year in COVID, about life and death, or about how you survived and why you survived? I, I can't answer that question because I don't know the reason why I've survived or why nobody that I know has had it. Uh, we'll, maybe it's because where we live. Maybe it's not prevalent in the New Orleans area like it is in some other parts of the country. And I, uh, I just hope that uh, in the near future that, that we won't see much of it. I think it's, hopefully it's gonna go away. Well, that is great. Thank you very much. This is the 12th of May on Santa Monica Pier. And uh, thank you for your opinion. Important note, these interviews attempt to follow how Americans live their daily lives in a pandemic, their behavior and personal belief systems. The views expressed are not those of journalist Michael Sean Comerford, nor any affiliated organizations, past or present. No interview should be considered an endorsement of the opinions expressed by the interviewee. 
These pandemic-focused interviews document a wide range of views held by individuals along Route 66 from February to May 2021.